tab. That is not expeditions. Okay, let's see what we got here. So no first percent, no first pick sun disc for me. Are we going to a Yasuo again? I mean, the problem with Yasuo is I don't really want to take a slow recall. So yeah, we just start off the day right and pick a OP champion. So Riven is fine. Uh, I mean, I guess we're doing a Ash. I really do not like Arena, but. Probably synergize is the best, to be honest. What's the mastery points looking like? So if we go purely by master points, it is uh, Nocturne. And I don't hate Nocturne. I mean, I'll say I don't consider the arena a good epic, so... I am leaning towards the Nocturne, and I'm probably just going to take it. Maybe we go into spiders, we see. We got a couple of interesting ones here. I mean, I like all of these, to be quite honest. Uh, at the end of the day, the hard remover usually wins out for me, so that's what we're taking. Uh, we take this pretty epic here. Sleepy Trouble is not great, though. Okay. Um, Piercing Darkness and Soul Gorge is fine. Signal is not that great, but the other two buckets are A-OK. -okay. Gonna, gonna go towards the Hunter though. Uh, obviously we take the Pretty Epic, take the Glory Seeker Hopeful here, but the Unspeakable Horror also catches my eye. The Glory Seeker is just a little too good to pass up on. Oof. Um, I guess we're taking the one drop on the Firebrand. Nothing too exciting there, though. Uh, these are a little bit closer. I think you can make an argument for all of these. Really like uh, Will and Death. Don't like Scorched Earth too much. And the, buckets, the rest of the buckets are just fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Will and Death, though. Uh, take the Hard Removal again. Take the Sapling Toss on Unspeakable Horror. Take the Stalking Shadow and Sage Stalker. Take the Black Spear. Eh. I mean, if this is early in the pick, I probably, only in the draft, I'd probably take this in water, but no. Take the Black Spear. So 15 and 15. We are definitely a little bit control heavy, which is definitely a little odd in a Riven deck, but that's okay. So we trade out the Withering Whale for Vengeance. I might take the Pale Cascade otherwise. Okay, we see how this does. We certainly didn't get too many Targon's cards. We got the pretty epic and the bad removal spell and um, I'm missing something as usual, but that's okay. I could grab it later. <laughs> but yeah, like I think we have three Targon cards and like for the life of me, I can't tell you what the third one is right now, so... I know there's certainly no pretty invokes. Not like invokes that is too, too good yesterday. Was well, still our best one yesterday was with the invokes, but still... Wasn't good enough. Okay, we got, um, I am thankful I have like three vengeances for this Nautilus. <laughs> Last time we faced all this, we had a really tough time getting rid of it. Ooh, what is this end? Okay, that's better. I'll be playing this on turn two. Do you like onlooker into unspeakable horror? Yeah, I'm fine taking two damage to do that. Gets a random Nightfall card in my hand. That's completely okay with me. <laughs> I 
that's a pretty good one. Um, I can do it on turn four, I guess. Do you like stalking shadows into the priestess? So it looks like we're not doing a heck of a lot this turn. He's also going deep fairly quickly, so that's a little scary. Especially since I actually don't have a Vengeance in hand at the moment. Ooh, we could wait on the priestess. This hunter looks a little too good. To serve the greater good. Okay. Hunter auto dies. That is fine. Uses all his mana. Could block spare this, but it's certainly not needed. Uh, 20 deep though. God, that is scary. And that Cygnus is not doing too much for us right now. Uh, we can take the house spider. They send fear, copy leaves behind a body. And I was kind of hoping for an obliterate. And that's not really an obliterate since I don't have any other invokes in hand. Take the media cell, I suppose. Greet the night. A game. Go on then. Let's save the mana for now. Yeah, that's a vengeance. I feel a lot better now. Let's start from House Spider. Let's play another House Spider. Let's attack. Let's kill the one two. And yeah, we see now this next time we just flat out vengeance it, and at this point, we look like we're a little ahead. Okay. That's not too bad. We got the meteor shower that could get rid of it, among other things. Get rid of a Yibin wand. I wonder, could he have. I think he could have even won the, um. The, uh. The inferior unit. I'm not sure what it would have triggered first, the. Hmm. Because, like, the inferior unit was always dying there. So I'm thinking he could have, uh, actually got a card off that even won instead of it, um. Instead of it, um, being, um. Tossed. Do we even care about this right now? <laughs> Let's talk in shadows. And uh, none of these are particularly great. I'm gonna take the blade squire just because it's two fragments. So the fear copy's not completely useless. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boats. I think I'm gonna get, go ahead and kill the uh the two four right now. Thinks it's not that big of a threat right now. My opponent's like line of play confuses me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like why did he not play that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh I will admit the one bad thing about the Cygnus is like, what am I ever putting it on? <laughs> Maybe a ribbon? I don't know. Like, am I gonna paint it for like an extra two damage? Seems kind of iffy. Let's stop by Scorch Dorothing that. Oh, can we just stop by open attacking? We don't even have good open attacks though. I mean, I guess we could use Willing Death to kill like the three two. Okay, this is fine. Got 
I, 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 I do hope we could trade this away, though, because the more I look at it, the more I'm like, man, why is this my hand? And that Nautilus is coming down pretty soon, isn't it? <laughs> See the world from behind a basilisk. Oh, well, no, we found something to to make elusive. That's nice. Uh, that, in fact, is just lethal at the moment. I guess not quite, because he is going to gain some life here. Mm, that makes my turn a little annoying. Like, I could stun this and hope he doesn't have another creature, but that seems... Like, it's not going to work out too well for us. For the Empire. And I'm certainly not going to wait a Avengers on it when, um... We don't have an answer for Nautilus in our hand at the moment. Okay, I mean the oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. I I see how it is. Let's play the sapling toss to pull that out of the way. <laughs> hmm. The problem I might have right now is at the moment, this plus this is not lethal. But he's but he's only got three blockers. So like the one one spider is getting through at the moment. So we could we could hold on to our removal. There's a second vengeance. There we go, that's what we were trying to do. Justice. Okay, well that's a god. Well, now it's just a matter of how many cards is now that's gonna put back in his deck. So he had what, two, one? One. So I put four cards back on the deck, so... He's still gonna deck out before us. There is the minor issue that we have, like, nothing in our hand at the moment. Still haven't seen either one of our champions. Bottom ten, bottom ten of the cards, yeah, that seems about right. Wow. That super quarter. That is brutal. I mean, the good thing here is if he doesn't have another unit, he is just flat out dead on this uh, open attack, but that is still brutal. Because, like, the treasures... I mean, he's almost guaranteed to draw a treasure. And these treasures are just winning the game, so we need to hope that this is actually lethal. And thankfully it is, but wow, we almost we almost lost that to two epics. We do need a maybe not so much control, in fact, and maybe a little bit more creatures. Okay, well, having said that, I see a pretty epic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you.
I, I, I won't lie, I was a little worried there. Plus, it's nice to see my favorite cat in chat. Okay, well, hopefully this next game's not as... <laughs> as close. I mean, the last game didn't seem close, but like, if we had like just like one point of damage to deal with the 5-1, I think we were losing that game to the, to the two treasures. Not gonna lie. I mean, and also that ruination was really bad for us, obviously. And you know, maybe we could actually draw our champions this time too. <laughs> <laughs> That'd also be nice. Thankfully, we obviously don't need the champions to win games, but definitely makes things a little bit easier. Okay, we're going to face a bot already. <laughs> as long as it's not Draven bot, I don't, I don't mind too much. Okay, no bot for us. Two Lissandras and a TF. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're not keeping this, that's for sure. God, I know I was just complaining about not seeing champions, do I? But, like, do I Molly can Nocturne here? Uh, to be fair, the, the hunter actually isn't killing the Sandra. It is tough. Okay, so I think we do it like this. Oh gosh, that's not the redraw we were looking for. Okay, there's a decent chance we play this next turn as just a 2 3. Depending on what he does. If he open attacks for one, well, yeah, no, no reason to put this down as a blocker. But if we place another unit, okay, so yeah, we just hold on to it then. And then probably just do Stalking Shadow, Sage Stalker next turn. We could also just do the Wanderer for now and save the Stalking status to potentially activate Nightfall. Uh, goodbye, bot. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Also, losing the option of um, Sleepy Trouble or Powder Star or something next turn, like a champion. Also, uh, we're not attacking into that though, so we just take the pass. Uh, by the way, what got me out off that? I wasn't paying attention. Wait, how many sicknesses do I have in my deck? I'm confused. Eh, whatever. Uh, so there is the TF. Something for all. So that is only TF, so it should just die here. Uh, I guess we kill TF, play the Sage Stalker. Seems good to me. And then we could potentially. Mm, that's fine. We could potentially Aristocrat Nocturne next turn. Where are you? 
I forget which one do we have two of? Yeah, two of Nocturne? Eh. I think two of Riven would be a lot better. I mean, outside of Nocturne, like, we don't have too many Nightfall cards. Well, then again, I have one on the field, two in hand. <laughs> so maybe I should rethink that statement. So hopefully this is just uh, Dead Champion number two. He could definitely have a better still. Nope, no better still. So we can start to look to push a lot of damage with the double uh, sicknesses. It's like that's kind of 20 damage by itself, so that will work for me. Now, the bit of a problem, though, is, like, at the moment, yeah, we don't, we're not doing a heck of a lot this turn, because we definitely need to save the stalking status for next turn to activate Cygnus. So I guess we're just going to stalking, uh, sapling toss, and that's it. A dark cloud well, <laughs> that's just all those champions. I mean, let's pass for now. Cause like maybe we wanna maybe maybe we could just sapling toss next turn to that activate Cygnus. Maybe we just do stocking status here. We see, we see. I'm completely fine if he passes back, obviously, because like what's this really doing for me? It's just tacking into a two three, who cares? Okay, now I think I will go into stocking shadows. Well, I guess I don't have many options there, now do I? Yeah, that, that, that was just bad for us. I really wish we had <laughs> found something a little bit better. It's like, am I going to be playing a 3-2 just to train it to a 2-2? Two -two? No, I kind of wish we sapling toss. I mean, I guess I could just pass. It's not like he really has that good of attacks this turn. Yeah. Cygnus, how I missed your light. Thank the mother you're all right. What have you learned? Uh, that's another pill for goods. Could be Monster Harpoon, but it's most likely it actually is Monster Harpoon. Well, the second Cygnus next turn is still representing lethal, so definitely could be worse. Okay, no longer representing lethal, or is it? Actually, it still is, isn't it? Yeah, it still is. Second vengeance, not exactly needed right now. Um, so yes, we we know since this is um game two, he always has the same amount. Of, that's annoying. Uh, but back to my original explanation. He always has the same amount of champions that you have. So I have three champions. I have two Nocturnes and a Riven. So we know he has three champions. So it's two Lissandras, one TF. And we've seen all of his champions already. I mean, I guess we're forced to vengeance this. Because it's, um, it's putting him out of lethal range. I really wanted to get 5-2 here, but that's not that big of a deal. As long as we're killing him next turn, that's what, when it's important. 
Okay. Well, that is completely fine because it doesn't come back to the next couple of turns anyways. And we can just vent it again. And at least that's a tomb's not keeping him alive through our attack next turn. So, you know. Oh, good. Oh, good. Your light. Have we seen um, either one of our champions? Uh, uh, yeah, we saw one card they stole from us. This, obviously. Have we seen the second card? So that won't keep him alive. That will keep him alive. Okay, well, his hands is, uh, is almost gone, so that's nice. What's not so nice is his 8-8s are going to become a problem pretty soon. We're still being the aggressor, so we're still we still forced to do this, so he doesn't gain life. But it's coming a little more scary, that's for sure. Hmm, I can't stop it up. I haven't played with Nocturne. Is it summon or play? Play, done. So the Southland Toss won't, um, won't give him negative power. These old eyes still see far and clear. So I guess it's um, Hopeful, Hopeful, Cloven Way. And then uh, these fearsome units are just going to be hopefully good enough. Okay, yeah, that is... I mean, I guess we could do this too. Because we do have enough mana. But like, am I really going to find something better than, hope than Hopeful to play? I don't think I will. So let let's just hold on to it. Okay, there we go. Nocturne actually paying off with his uh, level up ability. So that was nice. Also, kind of shows why um, foes and thralls are not that great. <laughs> okay, and um, Vengeance over Soul Gorger? I'm leaning that way. Definitely not a starry scamp, I can tell you that much. Doom Beast is probably better than Dead Bloom, especially with two Nocturnes on a deck. But I think this Vengeance is a little too good to pass up on. So it's definitely been an interesting deck so far, I will say that much. Still not sure if I call it good. <laughs> interesting, I think, is definitely the correct, uh, correct phrase. Okay. Where's the champs again? Zero, six, zero. 
I think I need Will and Death here. Hmm. Just don't think I'm gonna need Will and Death against this deck. Okay, just play our Glory Seeker. Hope he doesn't have a two drop. Well, that is a two drop. So, no reason to attack into that. We take that two damage next turn. Possibly more if he develops, because we're not doing a heck of a lot here. We are taking five, six damage. Well, that could have been better. <laughs> oh well. Guess we take the house spider. Um, actually, I don't think Nocturne's even the play here. I think it is the Hunter. I mean, I also kind of kind of suspect that this attack is not going to work. So there's that thing to consider, but I mean, we should still go for it. I always catch my prey. I mean, at worst, we could just block Ziggs next turn with the three-three, and then um, unspeakable horror down. Okay, so that is going to be killing my 5-1, unless I, um, Pell Cascade it. Which I'm probably not going to do. <laughs> just, just putting that out there. Choices, choices. Lots of good choices, but like there's like both of these are a problem. <laughs> I don't know which one to go after first. I think I'm gonna pass. Oh well, speaking of problems. I mean, I think it's disarmed. We could gun vent us this, but then we have to deal with these guys still next turn. I mean it's probably just the safer play to be honest. Let's take our attack first. Yeah, I think we need to kill this, unfortunately. He's just, he's just put, he's putting too many threats on the board. I don't have enough mana to deal with them all. That's fine. One for you, and one for you! 
Well... Like I said, everything's just being a little mad and inefficient right now. It's really annoying. Yeah, that's really annoying too. God, are we gonna lose against this deck? It does seem likely with what we have in our hand. I'm not even sure if it's real played or not, it's just... I just think this is like a little too awkward for us. I mean, it certainly wasn't badly played, that's for sure. Looks like we probably need the the life still here. <laughs> At least the champions aren't that close leveling up, so that's good for us. Over. Oh, so it's actually a pretty good draw, it deals with the um, zigs. Eight puff caps in the deck at the moment. Uh, minor issue if he's got a way to destroy this landmark though. Ooh, we're kind of losing our Nocturne at the moment. So, you know, that's an issue. Imagine we're going to see an open attack here, which is, you know, not at all annoying. <laughs> Ooh, no open attack at least. Yeah, we are just so much on the back foot, though. It's really, really not grand. I also kind of wish I'd led with this Heavens Aligned. Because, like, I don't really know what else we're going to do, especially if he passed the... I think we're just going to block Spirit Zeroth here. Well, that's a tad unfortunate, but that's okay. Well, at least we're going to pretend it's okay. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't okay. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't okay at all. Well, 
Well, that's a pretty good card. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it really does seem like we're just dying to puff caps, unfortunately. I mean, technically, we're, I was going to say, technically, we're not dying to puff cats, but I think that just changes it. Yeah, that's game. Between the puff cats and the sand soldiers, we just don't have enough blockers here. Let me think for a second. So. We could vengeance this, scorched off this, and we're just dead to any unit. Gotcha. It seemed like we were a little too awkward that entire game. Uh, normally I wouldn't even think about this trade, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing it this game. Yeah, we, we are just definitely suffering from having too much, um, too much spells, and uh, not enough units. Okay. So we got Quinn and Riven, two Quins, lots of master points, so good player. You know, I'm just gonna keep the, keep everything. We're obviously not going to be venting Riven on turn three, but oh sorry, turn turn four. But uh, um, it's kind of an issue. I want to make sure I at least have an answer for her. Lady Elise, where are you? Okay, let's go with the house spider. No, well, that's not at all annoying. <laughs> so no attack for us. So in expeditions, uh, during games two and three, the uh, first champion is always uh, whichever champion you have most of is listed first. So since we know he has three champions, we know it's um, we know it's two queens and one Riven. Because again, first champion is always listed first, so again, we have two Nocturnes and one of them. Please, I have connections! Uh, I guess we're passing here. <laughs> Things become a little tougher when it's like games, um, 4 plus. 
when it's two and two. Because you have no clue if it's three champions and uh, three and one or two and two. No, I should probably just scorched with this in an eye. Yeah, I might as well just do it now. I really said it didn't last turn, but not like it really makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Okay, uh, we're gonna save the mana. Lancer, well, now that I do a rolling death, I'm definitely playing this into the Lancer. I'm also really shocked that he did not take his scout attack, and he's still not taking his scout attack. Well, I guess when you have a 5-5 five -five on the board, there's no reason to. Oh, I wish I could activate this this turn. <laughs> Let's pass. Plaza number two. I don't agree with that at all. Oh, well, now that he's got a plaza number two, I'm definitely attacking. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So hopefully we'll just put him down to, what, two here? Seems good to me. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's take the Nightfall card. We still want to try to level up Nocturne here, I'm thinking. That three one is kind of annoying because it's like it just blocks my full one. I still think I just want to deal more damage to him though, so just let it happen. a little low on cards, so we have that going for us. We just need top tech another sickness, right? I mean, we had like three of them in our hand at the la end of last game. Oh, it's nice. Uh, that's gonna be fun to deal with. We can take this damage. Yeah, no reason to waste a vengeance on it. Hmm. Kinda wish my dragon was still alive, not gonna lie. 
If we could come back to this. Okay, well, let's hope he doesn't have any um, any combat tricks. Actually, just win. Thank you, thank you, Evan. I know what I must do. I won't. Li I won't lie. That was looking. I was looking bleak there for a moment. Like I said, I still have major doubts about this deck. I'm leaning towards this thrash. Having a, having a nice lifestyle unit plus a vengeance on the sticks this seems good and well we're not we're not activate we're not taking this onto desk or the flight and we don't particularly want a grandfather yeah just take the thrust and move on thank you cat Okay, so see, here's a good ch example. We know he has four champions. So we know it's either two Rakutens and two Ashes, or three Rakutens and one Ash. Yeah, no reason to keep Ruination. Like, I've kind of forgot I even have the card in my deck since I have not seen it. And yeah, you can see here we have two, two Nocturnes, one Thrash, one Riven. Let's just play our spider friend here. Still see far and clear. Actually, I'm actually just gonna play the sage stalker. Okay, we play the spider and the onlooker here. And hope he doesn't have a fearsome blocker. Okay, well, that's not a fearsome blocker this turn at the very least. <laughs> I mean, we could double block the Yeti in the future for two, one, and three, two. So we're not that scared of it. Ooh, that's um that could be a problem. Look at it sparkle. Oh yeah, that's a bit of an issue. I wonder I'm thinking maybe we actually just take this and go like a little aggro. Yeah, this sucks. I'm not going to get the the blade. If I play Riven after attack, but I like definitely need to attack first. Maybe I just don't play Riven. Maybe we play Stalking Shadows. Not worth my time. Not even blocking the life steal one. 
Not sure if I agree with that. Let's just do Stalking Shadows instead. Uh, no, the problem with Stalking Shadows is the only thing I have to activate Cygnus at the moment. Yeah, we just got to play Riven. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. That is Bond. That's um, an interesting one. Forever, Chase him down. No retreat. See it up close. So it looks like we're going to um, just blade Riven and um, do Cygnus next turn. Thankfully this cannot have grant elusive, so that's at least nice. Briefly considered if I should have done it on this, but um, yeah, that bit of steel among other things probably just means that's not a great idea. So if he does the fact that we're bit of steel, we still have the kill here. Yeah, we do. Yep, Haas runs there, we'll, we'll put a stop to that. Looks like we're going to have to vent this next turn too. That's a little, a little annoying. Never mind. Well, if he's got another vulnerable card, I'm going to be a little sad, but I don't think there's too much we could really do about it, to be honest. That's just going to kill the, um, the Yeti. Yep, can't do too much about that. Oh wait, that's not even the vulnerable card, so I actually don't even care about that too much, do I? I mean, like, what is that really doing, to be honest? Well, that's good and all, but... I'm kinda hoping for something I could play this turn. I mean, I certainly won't complain, though. Don't get me wrong. Okay, there's the there's the vulnerable card. Well, it's 16 though. We are completely fine here. He's out of cards. We have a couple of five fives coming up. So good, so good. <laughs> you know, until until the opponent top stacks better than we do. I mean, we have vengeances, but it's like, it just makes this, this just makes this attack so much worse. I do think we probably have too many vengeances, not gonna lie. Wow. 
Would you look at that? Cut you a deal. Oh, get how fast and top deck was. My treasure. <laughs> That's not the top deck we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. I, I, I don't need to put that on the stack. He has, he's got no cards in hand. Be, be sessionable. Is it just me, or is his top deck feeling a little bit better than mine? I mean, thank you, that wasn't a great top deck, but it's like... <laughs> Just seems like we're losing the top deck wall, in my opinion. Heads will try to run. My Uh, strangely enough, I'm going to take this. Ready. Many tries. One no. I got active. That's super annoying. Combination is not working out too well for us. Oh, in fact, we're just dead. Yeah, the deck, the deck is not great. And again, like I said, the, the top decks, well, we certainly lost it. No question about that. Gosh, none of those are uh, an improvement. I think that unspeakable hole might be better than Etherfiend, though. Again, another odd trade I don't think I'd ever, ever make any any other deck. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it looks like taking that six damage when we didn't need to was definitely a mistake. I had a game plan in mind. My, plan, my game plan was to... Was to score still with that. That's why I didn't want to block, because I wanted to put damage on it with the 1-1, one -one, but then, like, he had another creature to play. And yeah, it just, just didn't work out too well for us. But yeah, take, taking that damage when we didn't need to was, 
was definitely the the mistake that cost us the game. So then the question is, could we have won that game if we if we didn't uh, if we blocked that one turn? Still think it would have been tough, cause like he still would he still would have three units on board. Yeah, it's tough to say. Hopefully we can just bounce back here, but not not particularly particularly thrilled with the um, gameplay so far. Uh, that Terek is kind of scary, but thankfully it's a one of. Okay, we'll just take three damage. Follow the horizon. If he plays a creature here, we play out the two one as a blocker, otherwise we're just gonna pass. I can learn from watching you. <laughs> hey, we're nation. Like I said, I completely forget we have you in the deck. Battle. Can I also just block like this and like that? No, that's just that seems a little silly to me. Oh, I totally forgot about Ruben's blade fragment. Be nice if he just doesn't have a fearsome blocker, but no, unfortunately he does have a fearsome blocker. We just kill the students. I mean, honestly, we might have to give up Nocturne on block anyways. We might have to give up both of them on block. Jeez, what the heck is this? Like, why are we so far behind? <laughs> Why are we so far behind? I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in the boats. I'm sorry, who are you? Carry your own gear. Uh yeah, let's start with this. I don't think I want him having that back in his hand. Thankfully those are just easy enough to block. We have the uh, vantage for this really uh, next turn, so at least we have that going for us. I mean, we can also just open attack, can't we? Like, he's never blocking. Um, hello. <laughs> Is that gonna change things? I think it probably will. Yeah, 
interesting. Okay, we're just gonna play out the the stalkers and attack with everything then. My opponent's playing halfway decently, I guess. <laughs> I mean, the the waiting to play the Yona to after I play the second creature definitely definitely caught me a little off guard. Wow, that's another feels bad moment. Okay. Don't know if that's really worth it, but sure. Level up the um, Aurelia, which is a, kind of an issue. Actually, that probably just was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, level up Aurelia is a kind of an issue. Hmm, I don't know. I think we're unfavored. I mean, I thought we were favored to that invoke, but I think that invoke changes my opinion. Gosh darn it. We really need to keep this ribbon alive in case he open attacks. But I wanted the life steal though, obviously. Summer food for us. You will not break me. I failed. So we're dead to a lot of things here. <laughs> I mean, plain and simple, we're just dead to a lot of things here. I'm 
Okay, I'm still alive for the moment. Maybe I should have gone the quick attack blade to keep my guy alive. I mean, why, why was I not expecting a blessings out of Targon's deck, you know? Goes, uh, pause them. Discipline. I mean, on the positive, he's only got one in really left, so uh, take that, I suppose. I really should have saved that vengeance for the really if it came down. <laughs> Doggo, come on. Hopefully I at least draw a cast for a spell so I can get some Sage Stalkers next turn. Okay, is that gonna be game? Looks like it should be. <sighs> that game sucked. Okay, well, we're keeping the wave in. Hmm, these two are both close. I know earlier I said I want a Doom Beast more, but I'm starting to think maybe I actually want a Dead Bloom more. Because, like, it is a little hard to activate Nightfall. Yeah, I think I'm just skipping this. Okay, we're on the positive. We can breathe. <laughs> Breathing's always nice. I probably should have checked on something before I started this next game up, but that's okay. I could do it now.
<laughs> Interesting indeed. Okay, still no opponent though. Someone please wake me up when we face the bots. Um, oh, no bots. What are we facing? Zed, Quinn, Javin, two Zeds. No master points like Quinn though. Poor Quinn. Am I going Mulligan Nocturne? I, I think we just hope to draw into something that we could play with Nocturne. It's got an elite in hand, so that's nice to know. Second Nocturne is not what I wanted to see, but oh well. <laughs> Take off free damage. Still taking a bit of damage here, but at least we left the um, Willing Death open to kill Zed. Attack, play the blade spire, and probably just pass. Soldiers, me. Good card for him. Join the hunters, they said. Yeah, the double nocturne hand's not doing too much for us at the moment. So something's definitely dying here. Let's hope he goes after a 3-2 and not a 2-1. That's my, um, hope. I've got the reins. Down to 10. Gonna clear up the board. Avenge me. Hmm. I always hate playing Riven after attack. A Damascus soldier is worth ten foes. I guess we don't need to play Riven at the moment, do we? Since Stalker... Oh, uh, maybe I should've taken... I probably should've taken Cygnus. What was I thinking there? I wasn't thinking. That's what it was. <laughs> I think I'm distracted by other things, if I'm gonna be fair. New recruit reporting in. Be 
Demacia! That's the reason why I kept ruination. Yeah, it's not even a great ruination, is it? Whatever. I don't know, at least two for Demacias are on an issue, though. There's a good chance I should have held on to that, and that's just kind of good for him. <laughs> uh, nice. And then he just forget, completely forgets to attack. Okay, well, I guess I take that, but still. Break the ties that bind. I should have just taken the free kill on the zero, on the one three, possibly. But I think I've been playing this game pretty badly this whole time, so there was that. I sense their power. Guess the only good thing we have going for us is he's almost out, out of cards. The one bad thing we have going for us is, you know, for Demacia. <laughs> For Demacia this turn at least. Ah, uh, the Screeching Dragon is just not good though. <laughs> I was hoping to do that on the Radiant Guardian, but yeah, don't have much choice there, do I? That ruination earlier just looks even worse now, doesn't it? I am certainly not too sad to see this being used defensively. Positive. If you fought Demas here, I could stun it. Soldiers, to me. Uh, 
That's about the only positive we have going on for us, though. Uh, yeah. Mother Moon, guide me. Stand strong. They need a good top deck, that's for sure. Like a vengeance would be kind of nice. After we complain that we have too many on our deck, but yeah, the scout with the four Demacia is kind of an issue. A life without freedom is not worth living. Yep, my alarm's going off. Come on. We're being difficult. I mean, I'm certainly hoping we see a, a defensive for Demas here. That make me feel a lot better. I mean, he's kind of forced to use it, isn't he? Otherwise, he just it just dies. Yeah. That's a um, pretty good draw. That unfortunately was a pretty good draw for him too. Oh. Wow. Wow, okay. Uh do we just lose here? That is brutal. So that's gonna low up jaw then. Like, can we survive if we, um, if we top deck a vengeance? Possibly. I don't think we can, though, actually. I mean, I guess that we do have the life still here. I think we can. I mean, outside of vengeance, though, we just flat out lose. No, I guess if he orders it correctly, now we're always dead there. Honor guide me. What a specimen. You cannot escape. Well, we technically live, but seems like we're still dead. Why do we, why are we constantly in the top tech wars? Uh, I don't understand that. Is that deck's not good? <laughs> That'd probably be just the the simple answer. I mean, we're obviously taking the commando, but. I don't know, I just don't like, I don't like how tough these games are. Don't like a lot of things right now, but certainly don't like how tough the games are. <laughs> uh.
Okay, we got hubcaps. <laughs> Fun. So two Timos, Ezreal and Caitlyn. I think Nocturne is just too slow against pubcaps. Turn one Timo. We let him hit it hit me once. Should just be one team of dead, indeed it is. Certainly not a bad card. Okay, we play the horror here. Eight thrust, I think this is the first time we've shown up. It's grind sands. <laughs> not expecting that, but that's okay. Still trades a card for a card. Certainly not the worst thing in the world. So probably flame priestess next turn. Advanced intel. Not a great card, probably shouldn't be playing it. That one's a little annoying. You know what? I'm just gonna play the hunter to block it. I'm fine with that. I always catch my prey. So it looks like we're playing Thrust next turn. Mark one. Looks okay. okay. If you find some peddlers, though, this is going to become slightly annoying. Not quite sure why you didn't block, but that's okay. I, mean, I guess it's only one damage, so that would be a good reason not to block. <laughs> guess he has no peddlers in hand at the moment, so that's something. Boy, now we're got kind of in an awkward situation. Like, uh, are we are we forced to always hold up seven mana for this last Teemo? Because like, if Teemo hits us, that's kind of bad. Yeah, I don't think we can deal with 50 puff caps in our deck. So yeah, it kind of sucks not doing anything, but we just can't can't deal for Teemo. So at least we know no team this turn, so we can safely develop. Keep the 
Trickster. I I also really do not agree with that. Um, get excited this turn. I would have passed and um, just wasted my mana. I think my opponent allowing me to develop here was a huge mistake. I'm just going to give up Riven here. We need to be aggressive. Yeah, I could argue we could vent this at next turn, but I just don't think we could get get it. Why is he not a, not blocking with the six six? What the fudge is that? I mean, we gladly take this, but man, this is incorrect blocks. Do I even want to draw a card? <laughs> that was part of the problem. Let's, let, let's just hold off on it for now. Uh, I guess he's got Mark too. Yeah, he's, he hasn't drawn it yet, so yeah, we've been still dice here. So I guess now I can use this to save this from a Mark 3. So yeah, that was the reason we held on to it. It was, it was planned out. Easy vengeance, don't have to think about that at all. No Noxus units on the field again though, slightly annoying. Oh, thank God! I I I coincidentally left the two mana open. And I I already forgot about that stupid Mark Three. <laughs> well, that is lethal if he's got nothing. There is the Mark III. There's our Pale Cascade. Ah, uh, unfortunate. You're still alive, dude. That, 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 that flash bomb I made fun of you earlier kept you alive. <laughs> I mean, we should still just be winning this game. Yeah, that's... Guess you can have asked for a better card to find out time trick. Pretty good card to draw off of, um... Oh, that's a harvest right there. Okay, let's just vent this stupid thing, and this should be lethal this time! <laughs> good grief. Watch, he, he taught that draw too, we, and we draw eight puff caps. I'm calling it now. No? No? Okay. <laughs> We're not that unlucky. 
Not that unlucky, they say. Uh, I, w I would have to disagree with that personally, but hey. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're keeping the fire band. We have very few um, interacts or uh, big creatures. Uh, yeah, this looks like a skip. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of stuff that we want to trade away from in this deck, but it's not really being offered it. Hmm. I don't know. Two more, <laughs> hopefully. And not hopefully two more losses. <laughs> Okay, we got Puffcaps again. Fun. Puffcaps are for me and so, man. <laughs> Those two don't seem to go together. Uh, okay. Jeez. Just gonna fool them all again. Need something better against Puffcaps. Well, we got an answer for a um, turn one Teemo. So that's at least nice. About the only thing nice about the sand. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna assume he has no team, otherwise he would not play it. Take out one damage, pass. Stalking shot is next turn if we don't find anything else to play. Okay, there's a fire band. Well, he's already more talk on that I would have thought. So I guess we could block the 2-2 two -two and unspeakable horrid. Oh, that line of play is we don't have a particularly good play next turn. My spirit shines. Please, I have connected. Maybe we just wait on the unspeakable horror then. Lots and folks. Scary stuff, I tell you. Take our attack. Probably playing this nice dragon next turn. Okay, there's one of the folks down. Let's just play the set now. The elements bind the living and the dead. Uh, yeah. So you, it's just don't you don't get you, you don't play against this board too often. That's part of the reason. Safety characters. Um, an issue. Kinda curious why I didn't make a copy of the 5-5 five five, though. Definitely seems better than the um than the full five. But yeah, I agree. The, the the annoying the chewing is kind of annoying. So there's this other invoke, which is just a redraw. Let my stars guide all travelers onward. Just gonna go ahead and kill a 2-2 two -two here. Come hither, you beasts of glory. Gonna kill. Oh wait, that's not a one-one anymore. 
<laughs> I'm so used to that stupid thing being a 1-1. One, one. I have the uh, unspeakable horror to pop by spell shit on um on um what's his name at the moment? Guys, I don't have anything good this turn, do I? Let's pass what he does. Why is this guy two team? I was. <laughs> uh, I guess because you don't want three willing souls, but man, this is definitely a talk on deck. Okay, is he out of invokes yet? I don't know. I've, he's invoked way too many times, and I'm, and I'm not, I'm not Conan. I don't let it down. <laughs> I need this thing with quick attack to be honest. We three will have blood. Oh, that's um, interesting. <laughs> That's not the one I wanted. Make sure you're playing the right thing, buddy. Three damage? Uh, no. On PNZ, at least. Take a free kill, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if this guy stays alive, the um, the onto desk will finish him off. Can I activate Nightfall on this? I'm pretty sure I can since it's free. <laughs> so, 2 3. Unspeakable Hole, pop the spell shield, Vengeance. Yeah, that's 9 mana. Oh, actually, I, I, I could have I, I done it like this. No, I couldn't have. I don't think, yeah, whatever, this still works though.
He's also kind of got the minor pawn that he doesn't have to Well, oh, fuck you. Um, I mean, I got another onto desk. Not quite enough damage at the moment, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's Stellicon. Stellicon wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, Stellicon just put him out of the paint of lethal. That's really kind of annoying. Maybe I get the plus two blade. To serve the greater good. Okay. Well, at this point, we just try to go for lethal. Okay, jeez. Double causing conspirations. <laughs> well, we made it to find a boss. Somehow, some way. <laughs> Okay, we're keeping the hopeful, we're keeping the aristocrat, we're keeping the dead bloom. Uh keeping all those. Kinda tempted to grass the undying over stalking shadows. Like don't I already have a couple of stalking shadows? I have two. Yeah, I'm gonna take the grass in, in fact. It's more interaction though, we don't really need more interaction, never mind. We're good. But I'd love to have that priestess, but now they cost of a um of a pretty epic, that's for sure. Ah, uh, this is not a pretty epic for the record. And I think I'd rather have Thresser with LeBlanc. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it seemed like there's stuff that we would want to change there, but we just had like four straight non-trades. We're like, nope, 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 nope. It's like, honestly, I probably would have liked to get rid of another Vengeance there. We actually have too many, I think. Can I believe I just said that, though? It, it, can you really have too many Vengeances? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had a chance to get a bot at this pace. Pretty sure. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think I think the more aggressive bots are definitely going to be a problem, like the Zed bots. Like if we don't get a good curve, we are just flat out dead to like Zed. No bot for us though. We got darkness. We haven't faced darkness so far. I I gotta imagine the favorite if I'm going to be honest. I mean. Can I get away with keeping Ledros against Darkness? I, honestly, I think I can. <laughs> yep, that's about the most annoying two drop he could have. Thankfully, I at least have a blocker. Doesn't change the fact that it's pretty annoying. I 
am here until I am no more. We resist to the last. Oh, I'll also mention champions on Kuo are a bit of a problem because how are we doing with them? Yeah, like how are we doing with this Vigo? Maybe maybe we didn't have enough vendors in our hand <laughs> in our deck as a hand. We would still like to have one right about now, that's for sure. Glory seek on the bottom of the deck, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's the vengeance. Just a little slow, that's all. We have to save at least one mana. <sighs> Why didn't I take that grasp, <laughs> that grasp again? <laughs> uh, at least the card would have done something. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Four mana, t four damage to, yeah. Five, it's gonna be five, man. This doctor is gonna do five damage every single time. And something else, I don't know, do I even hope he only has two centers? Or like only one center? I don't know. I mean, at this point, there's any, any reason to even vengeance this. The darkness is already kind of out of reach anyways. Uh, it's not like I really have a better play this turn. Guess I could do this first. Slowly went out of cards. There's no center there too, so that's at least nice. I'm also wondering if it's just a mistake to let this Vigo live ahead. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. I will shape death as easily as clay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... that's an issue. Steady as life and death. It wants us. Gets a pretty good open attack now. He's back up to 20. And Vigo's leveled up. <laughs> Why didn't I kill this stupid Vigo earlier? <laughs> Uh, now it just seems like we're dead. I should have killed the Vigo earlier. I think that was a huge mistake. Trying to be aggressive, I don't think was the correct call. Well, on the positive, we're not dead unless he's got a second Vigo in hand. And if he's got a second Vigo in hand, we're just dead. I mean, we're still pretty close to dead, though, because, like, how are we even coming back? Well, thank you for... that does not damage Nexus, buddy. I mean, you're still gonna win, but, like, that's not game, at least. Hmm... This is nothing we could do, is there? Yeah, the fact that we can only put down one blocker here is 
is um, this game. Like, I guess I could play Thress, kill a 3-3, and then if he has exactly nothing, we aren't dead. Okay. I mean, I could vengeance this to keep Thress alive, but it doesn't really matter. We're still just dying next turn. I don't know, we just... The duck, the duck struggled the whole, the whole time, so I'm not too... Too shocked we got swept pretty badly there. Yeah, I mean, I'm... <laughs> I know I got to six wins, but I'm still not... No, no, of course, I'm happy with, how, with that deck. Anyways, I'm gonna take a break. Be back in a minute.